Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching for another video. Weird lighting, weird setup. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. I'm still waiting on my camera. It has been fixed. It's being shipped to our house in where we live in Alabama. And we're not there because we're visiting David's mom and dad for spring break. So bear with me. I am filming on David's phone, so hopefully it's better than my phone. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with today's video because I'm really excited. A lot of you asked for this video, and so I'm happy to do it for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about great value favorites. I will leave our Aldi. I did the kids Aldi favorites. I'll leave that down below. I want to do my favorite Aldi favorites. I could do like a whole series on that because I love Aldi. I could also do a whole series on great value favorites. But today, I'm just going to share the first 10 or 12 that came to my mind when I started thinking about Aldi, no, great value <laughs> favorites. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. I will show pictures and stuff. And I love doing these videos because sometimes, you know, you're scared to try the off brand because you think it's not as good. Um, you know, are you going to be wasting your money trying this over the name brand? And these are some products that I think are better than name brand either just as good or better than name brand. So definitely give these a try. Let me know your great value favorites because I'm always looking for more things to try. And I just love being able to save the difference. I mean, why pay $5 for something if you can pay $2 and get the same, you know, kind of feel. So that's what this video is about. And let's get started. So I've got it on my phone here. And I'm going to share with you guys my top, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 items here of my great value stuff. So the first thing, and these are in no particular order, are their tater tots. I think they just call them taters. <laughs> these are in the frozen section and they're little tater tots. And I think they're just as good as a regular like Orida brand, but they're so cheap. You can get a big like 32 ounce bag for like a dollar dollar 60 less than two dollars these are so good what I like to do with them is put them in the air fryer and if you cook them like at a lower temperature this is what I found with tater tots uh, in the air fryer if you cook them at a lower temperature for a few minutes and then once they get kind of warm in the middle you can bump up the temperature to kind of crisp them on the outside and so they're cooked crispy on the outside but still done in the middle and they're so good. I like to top them with chili and cheese. You can just eat them with ketchup. They're they taste just as good as fried, and the great value ones are really good. So that is one of our favorites, and um, I also like to make tater tot casserole with these. Okay, the next one is ranch Doritos. So these are like the cool ranch Doritos, but they're the great value one. I will say like the regular nacho cheese, I don't think it's a fair comparison because the nacho cheese flavor Doritos just has it down and the great value ones are a little salty, but the cool ranch or the ranch flavor I think is a lot closer and they're so much cheaper. I think at our great, at our Walmart, a regular size bag of Doritos on sale is like 250 a similar size or the exact same size bag of great value ranch flavored, same thing. Um, it's like 77 cents. I mean, it is so cheap. You can get a family size bag for like $1.50. I mean, it's crazy, crazy cheap. They're very similar. They also have like a jalapeno one that's really good. I really like the ranch flavor. It's good. The next thing is one of my favorites. Uh, the kids don't eat this or drink this. It's me, but these are so good, and it's the little drink enhancers, the little single serve that you put in a bottle of water, and it's the grape. I like the grape uh, little energy. It's grape energy mix is what it's called, I think, and these are so good. It tastes... I'm, nor I'm normally not like a grape lover, like flavoring. Like I never liked grape Kool-Aid, but the grape water enhancers with energy are so good. It kind of tastes to me like a um, sweet tart kind of taste and it has some caffeine in there. So a lot of times, you know, I'm trying to give up my Diet Coke and drink more water throughout the day. And this just gives me a little burst of energy. It doesn't make me feel like jittery or anything like that, but it's just a little burst of energy. I love it. It's so, so good. If you guys have tried that, let me know. And Aldi has a version, but I don't like it as much. I definitely like and prefer the um, 
great value version. And it's really cheap. It's like a dollar, a little over a dollar for a package of them. Okay. Next step is the chunky chip chocolate chip cookies. These are a knockoff of the Chips Ahoy Chunky. And I've tried a lot of the great value Chips Ahoy knockoffs. And I think this one is the best. And it's like the chocolate chunk cookies. And they're so good. If I buy a package of these, like I don't buy them often because they go so fast. I think they're in the orange. I'll show you guys a picture of course, but I think they're in the orange package. They're so good. There's really cheap, a little over a dollar and so much cheaper than Chips Ahoy. Definitely, definitely would recommend those. They're delicious. <laughs> Buy them at your own risk. Next up is one of my kids and my favorites. This is Baby Mark's, like one of his favorite things. And that is the Great Value Popcorn Chicken. It's less than $5 for a bag of it. And a lot of people ask me when I talk about this, oh, is this the same as the deli popcorn chicken that you can buy like over in the Walmart deli? Y'all, it's better than that. These are a little bit bigger. So they're little balls of chicken and they're about that big. They're a little bit bigger than the deli one. And when you cook them, they're very soft. They're not like that hard. Sometimes the deli ones kind of get hard and dried out. These are moist and soft and good. You can crisp up the outside. These are so good. I love to chop them up and put them on a salad. For Mark, it's the perfect thing to chop up and put on his baby tray for him to feed himself. These popcorn chicken is like my favorite chicken nugget. They're so good, like all white meat, like very, very good quality, I think. And they're so good. Lucy loves them. I love them. Baby Mark loves it. Nate still, y'all know, he loves the honey batter tenders. I can't hardly get him to eat anything else, but these are so good. One of my favorite Walmart products, like if I go anywhere else to do groceries, I always have to go to Walmart to make sure we have our popcorn chicken because it's that good. <laughs> I would definitely recommend trying them with the homemade Chick-fil-A sauce. You can, you can buy the Walmart version, but I really like to make it homemade. I'll leave that video down below. And I served these at Baby Mark's first birthday and we just heated them up in the oven and then served them with that Chick-fil-A sauce knockoff. And they're really, really good. Okay. The next thing is one of my favorites and it's their sugar-free vanilla creamer. So I am really sensitive to like sugar in drinks. If I drink something sugary, like I don't like the way my teeth feel after it. Like I can feel the sugar in my mouth. It's like a gross feeling. I don't know if you guys ever have that. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to drinking a lot of sugar. I don't usually. So creamers can kind of leave that taste in my mouth that I don't like, but some sugar-free creamers taste, and I'm talking about coffee creamers. Creamers. They taste really like artificial and chemically, so I don't like that either. But the Great Value Sugar Free Vanilla Creamer is so good. It's really, really creamy. That's another thing. Like some of the, like the Coffee Mate one, I feel like is kind of watery and it doesn't taste as good. This one is still really creamy creamer, but it's sugar free. And it's French vanilla. It's so good. It's like a dollar fifty for a bottle of it, as opposed to like three dollars for the Coffee Mate for the Inter National Delight. They're delicious. <laughs> so good. And you can also buy it like in a big, like uh, two quart, like half gallon size. I've never done that, but uh, you can. And there, it's really good. I always try to have it in the fridge because I love it. Okay. The next thing is another one of my top, top, top great value recommendations. So it's ice cream. Cookies and cream is my favorite ice cream flavor probably. And I used to be really picky and say, I only liked Bluebell. And, um, you know, that was the one I bought and it's like six or $7 for a half gallon of that stuff. Well, <laughs> one day I was like, you know what, I'm going to save some money and I don't buy ice cream a lot anyway. So normally I would just splurge for the Bluebell. And, um, I saw a great values version. It looked very unassuming and I got it. It's like less than $2 for a, a carton of it. And, um, I took it home and I tasted it and I could, I about fell out. I could not believe how good it was. And I was like, you know what? I think this is really comparable to Bluebell. Sorry, you guys. Spam risk course. I think this was really comparable to Bluebell. So we, the next time we bought Bluebell, I still had a little bit in the freezer and I compared the two and 
great value one hands down great values cookies and cream is so creamy it's so good it's so cheap I can't believe it and I preferred it over bluebell I cannot believe I'm saying that I cannot believe I'm saying that it is so good and since then we've just started buying great value ice cream and I can tell you like it is good quality ice cream. It is creamy. It is good. The toppings in there are good and, um, it's cheap. I can't, I just, I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's really, really good. I would definitely recommend the cookies and cream. So good. It's like, you know how this is weird, but I, you know how, when you have ice cream, that's cookies and cream and there's just, it's just basically vanilla ice cream with like chunks of Oreos. The, the reason I like the Bluebell one is because it was like ground up in it. So you had the chunks plus you had it all ground up in it. And that's the way Great Values is. It's very much Oreo heavy and it's so good. It's so good. So now I want cookies and cream ice cream. Um, okay. Next up is one of our favorite easy night dinner ideas. Mark also loves it. I chopped these up for him. And that is the Great Value Italian meatballs. You get these in the frozen section. One of my favorite dinners that four out of the five of us will eat <laughs> is spaghetti and meatballs. What I do is I boil some noodles, boil some noodles. That sounded very Southern. I boil some noodles and I um, take some of these meatballs. I usually get a regular size, not the family size, but a regular size bag. I can get two meals out of. So I put half the meatballs in a pot. I cover it with some jar sauce. I let it just kind of boil simmer for a few minutes until they get hot because they're fully cooked. And then I just put that over some noodles and it's so easy and everybody loves it. These meatballs are really, really good. That's the product I'm trying to tell you guys about the meatballs. We like the Italian and the home style. We also make meatball subs out of these. Mark just likes them in the microwave, like heated up and then chopped up. He loves these and it's a lot of good protein. These are really good. And it's like for the regular size 32 ounce bag, it's like $5. And, um, the family sales bags just a little bit more and you get more. So I would definitely recommend these meatballs. They're delicious. And I was, I never bought the great value ones because somehow I thought they weren't going to be good, but finally tried them. They're good. Next step, mac and cheese. <laughs> Sometimes when I see mac and cheese for like 34 cents, I'm like, this can't be good. Like there's no way we have to buy the craft for a dollar, you know, no, buy the 34 cent mac and cheese. It's really, really good. We like it better than craft and you can buy a ton of it for just a couple of dollars, <laughs> 34 cents. And, um, I can't say enough good things about it. It's really good. We also like the thick and creamy version, which I think is the same price. Uh, Nate loves it and I really like it. We all like it. It's good for so cheap. And it's a great thing to like have in your pantry. And when you need a quick, you know, dinner or whatever, you don't have to go out to eat. You just cook this. It doesn't take very long at all. And you know, maybe not the healthiest thing in the world, but I feel like having these things is better than going out to eat or going through a drive through on those really crazy nights. So I would definitely, definitely recommend just having some of that in your pantry. Okay. Next step. We're almost, we're getting close to the end. <laughs> I could talk about food and great value stuff all the time, forever and ever. Next step is the maple sausage patties. So if you like like fast food sausage biscuits or like a bagel with, so I really like making like bagel breakfast sandwiches too. These sausage patties are so good. I really like the maple version. You could totally, they have a regular ver version too. And basically it's a big frozen bag of sausage patties. And these taste just exactly like the ones you get at McDonald's or any other like fast food breakfast place. What I do with these we do this a lot of times breakfast for dinner because we don't eat usually big breakfast. So I'll just put these in the oven, heat them up. You could also do them in the microwave or on the stove. And then I'll just bake some biscuits, frozen, most likely. <laughs> I'll put them in there, make little breakfast sandwiches. Like I said, a lot of times I'll do English muffin sandwiches or bagel sandwiches. These are really, really good. The maple one the best. Next up is the instant mashed potatoes. Now you can buy these in the pouches. I like to buy them in the cups just because of the portion control. They're cheaper in the pouches. I love homemade mashed potatoes. Don't get me wrong, but there's sometimes when that just takes too long. And these mashed potatoes, they're called like with homestyle with butter or something like that. 
butter flavor. They're so good. I made these for David one time and he's like, these are the best mashed potatoes. You did so good on them. And I'm like, David, these are instant that I just put in the microwave. He couldn't believe it. They taste just like homemade. They're so good. I like to have them just for a quick side to go with a meal. Uh, the little cups are portion controlled. They're not super cheap. I think it's $3 for four of the cups. Um, but you know, again, cheaper than drive through and you know, a good side. Last but not least, coffee. So I hear everybody talk about the donut shop blend of great value. There's like a coconut one that's really good. There's all these ones. My favorite is the house blend. Sometimes it's hard to find like in the bigger cans. And so you have to buy it the littler packages. The house blend is so good. It's, they call it like nutty and you'll see it on the package, but it's so, it is, it's really nutty. It's smooth. It's delicious. And it's my favorite. So the Great Value House Blend, blend, it's cheap, it's awesome, it's wonderful. So those are my Great Value recommendations. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more store recommendations, more Great Value, more Aldi, which one's your favorite or a different store, let me know. I could go on and on because I love saving money. I love trying new products. So if you have a product that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments below because I want to try it. I love you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. We're so close to 19,000. Hopefully we've hit it by the time this video comes up. But if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you a part of the Bless Jess fam and we'll see you guys later. Bye.